Graham, thanks for the invitation today to Asprey Precision Engineering. We're in one of your two machine shops here in Abingdon in Oxfordshire. There's a lot going on. Tell, tell us a little bit about the company and what's happening in here. Um, in this, uh, this unit here, we have the uh, main CNC turning and CNC uh, milling machines, who we do a variety of parts for our, our customers and, and also our internal assembly cell across the road. And, and they're not just, they're not just your, your bog standard CNC machines, are they? You've got a five axis, you've got some pretty tasty Nakamuras as well. Yeah, I mean, we have a variety of parts that we're doing, some more complicated than others, so we like to have the ability to respond to customer requirements. What's just the variance in the sizes of the work you do here at Ashby and the types of work you do? I mean, we see milling and turning here. Do you go beyond that as well? And what size of parts do you manufacture? Um, we, we can turn flanges from two meters um, to small precision turn parts with diameters of five millimeters, really. Quite unusual to go up to see companies of that size, up to two meters a, a turn part. Uh, yeah, so we have the uh, manual large turning machines that uh, lays that can, can uh, do those sizes. And you also then would go right down to the small parts, because I noticed behind you, you've got a Tornos uh, Sigma sliding head lathe. Is it a multi-spindle machine? I'm not sure which. Um, yeah, so I mean, the majority of parts that can go on that machine we use for the medical industry. So it's precision turned uh, brass, brass parts. And on that point then, tell me a little bit about what, what the company, who, who, who the company services, who are your customers or, or, or the markets that you're in? Um, I'd say our, our main customer is scientific, followed by uh, medical, automotive. Uh, we do a little bit of aerospace and we, we even do uh, re retail parts. Because where we're positioned here in Oxfordshire, you're, you're kind of very central in the country, aren't you? Quite near Motorsport Valley or in Motorsport Valley. And there's a, there's a thriving medical and scientific area as well. So you, you, it's quite advantageous to be positioned here, would you agree? Uh, yes, I mean, the majority of our customers are very local to us. We have expanded recent in recent years to customers around the country, uh, but I, I would say our main focus of our customer base is within 10, 15 miles of, of, of our units. And if I asked you the question, lots of precision engineering companies have focused on uh, setting up companies here in this area because of the reasons I suggested. Why would your customers come to Ashby Engineering and potentially new clients as well? Um, we, we offer the, a very wide range of services, right, right through to uh, welding assembly, like we said, we have the uh, variety of machines to react to different requirements for, for any parts, really, from large to small, and just various finishes and features. And, and what's your position here, Graham, at the company? I'm the quality and improvements manager. Oh, so you make sure that when parts go out the door, they're right? Yes. And what would you, you, you will know this then, what, what do you think that your customers would say about Ashby Engineering without wishing to put you on the spot. If I approached them, what would they say about your business, your, you know, what you supply to them and, and how you go about it? We, we, we try our best to respond to customer needs very quickly. Um, our, our main focus of the business is quick turnaround and we, we try to respond to customers' needs as quickly as possible and assist them with, with any, any modification and uh, pass. So, so you do a good job basically, but what does the future hold here for Ashby? You did tell me earlier that you've just ordered some more machine tools. So, where are you going? What's the direction? Um, we're trying to invest quite heavily in the CNC side of things to assist our uh, assembly cell to get the, get the parts moving around a lot quicker and also make our cells more efficient. And is there any of these spindles never not, are these spindles ever not turning or are they always, always machining? Um, we try to keep them machining as often as possible. We, Does that mean you run, do you run lights out with these Nakamuras as well? Yeah, so we are, we are 24 hours, we have a, we have a night shift and we also have a, a shift operating on the weekends. Um, it's not all machines operating 24-7, but the majority of the high volume producing machines operate o overnight. And I'll probably conclude this, this company's been running for some time, hasn't it? When, when, when was Ashby founded? Um, we've just had our 40th birthday this year, so it's just, just gone 40 years. Oh, so it's older than me then? Yeah, and me. <laughs> and you did acquire more businesses recently too, didn't you? Going back about two years ago. I believe there was some kind of acquisition trail within the business to bring more machining into the company. Yes, yeah, we're constantly looking at bringing new businesses in. Um, we've actually just taken on another business within the past few months, uh, which is a whole new range of customers and customer requirements that we're having to respond to. Because you've got a, 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 a pretty tenacious and hungry and ambitious managing director, haven't you? Yes, I mean, I'll, I'll probably use the same words as you just described them as. Well, choose, well chosen. Thank you very much, Graham. Cheers.
Thank you.